A syllogism is a type of logical argument that uses deductive reasoning to arrive at a conclusion. It is typically made up of three parts, two premises and a conclusion. The premises are statements that are assumed to be true. The conclusion is a statement that follows logically from the premises. One of the classic philosophy 101 examples of a syllogism goes like this. Premise 1, all men are mortal. Premise 2, Socrates is a man. Conclusion, therefore, Socrates is mortal. In this example, the first premise makes a general statement about all men. The second premise has a statement specifically referring to Socrates. Given these two premises, the conclusion logically follows them. To make a syllogism, you need to start with two pieces of fine lumber. Oh, wait, that's a different channel. We need to start with a couple of premises, a major and a minor one. You start with two premises that are assumed to be true. This is the fine lumber you use to construct your argument. With these two premises, you can then derive a conclusion. The conclusion should be a statement that follows logically from the premises. To construct a good syllogism, you have to make sure they're true, just like a board. If either of your premises aren't true, then your conclusion won't be true either. It is also important for your premises to be relevant to the conclusion you want to reach. For example, if you were building a pine box you wouldn't buy mahogany boards to build it. It is also essential for your conclusion to follow logically from your premises. It should be obvious that the conclusion can be deduced from the provided premises. Syllogisms are used to make logical arguments based upon sound reasoning. When the premises are true and the conclusion follows from these truths, then the argument is valid. Syllogisms are used to make arguments about a wide range of topics. They can be used to argue about factual matters or about philosophical matters. Even everyday decisions can benefit from this technique. For example, consider this problem-solving syllogism. If I want to get to the train station, I need to take the bus. The bus leaves in 10 minutes. Therefore, I need to leave now. While this kind of argument might seem obvious, how many people fail to use this kind of reasoning? My observation is that a lot of people don't think it through and end up being late for the bus. To use a syllogism to make a logical argument, you first need to identify the major and minor premises of your argument. Following that, you need to make certain that these premises are true. From there, you can draw the conclusion of your argument. It is important to understand that not all syllogisms are valid. Don't get on the wrong bus. A syllogism is only valid if the premises are valid and the conclusion follows logically from the premises. Otherwise, the syllogism is invalid. For example, an invalid syllogism would be, all students are lazy. Otis is a student. Therefore, Otis is lazy. In this case, our primary premise isn't true, invalidating our argument. In another invalid example, we could say, I like chocolate. I like riding a bicycle. Therefore, I don't like classical music. In this case, the conclusion does not logically follow from the premises. If your premises or conclusion have ambiguous terms, this can also invalidate your syllogism. Consider this example, all squares have four sides. All rectangles have four sides. Therefore, all squares are rectangles. Why does it have an ambiguous premise? It's ambiguous because the premise of four sides lacks a key definition. It doesn't define the type of sides. This ambiguity makes it impossible to determine whether the conclusion is true or not. Watch out! I've heard of this example being used in job interviews for programmer and engineer positions. 
If you are unsure whether a term is ambiguous, it is best to avoid using it in a syllogism. Another type of flawed syllogism is circular reasoning. For example, the economy is doing well because the stock market is up. The stock market is up because the economy is doing well. Therefore, the economy is doing well. This syllogism is circular because the conclusion is based upon the premise. This means that the conclusion is simply restating the premise. It does not actually provide any evidence to support that the economy is doing well. Syllogisms are a powerful tool for making logical arguments. They can be used to discuss a wide range of topics and to help you make decisions based on sound reasoning. Just make sure your premises are true and topical along with your conclusions following from them logically. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to comment to let us know your thoughts on it.